What's up everybody? Today I am going to do an unboxing of part two of the quarter palette from Everything Liquidation. Let's get started. Hey everybody, this is Gary D from DIY Dollar Bills, where I talk about selling on the big five. That's eBay, Amazon, Macari, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. And today we're going to do part two of the unboxing of Everything Liquidations. Five boxes, 635 all in. That's $127 per box um, that I paid for. And let's get started. Second box. Um, got some clothing in here. I went through the box already. So we'll go from most disappointing to best stuff. There's not a whole lot of disappointment in here. Here, this is a tie-dye polyester type shirt. It's very warm. It's long sleeve, but there's no tags on it. I don't know what size. I'm gonna look. Sick. I'm gonna guess and say it's a large at least. It's not a medium. Um, there's nothing on the bag. Oh, it is a medium. Sorry. We'll say it's a medium, but that's all I know about it. Um, Pink, I mean, China. Um, it's got a. I, I look at the colors. I'll take a guess at what I'm going to sell it for and throw it up. All right. Next thing we got here, we've got a two-piece swimsuit, extra extra large. Two-piece swimsuit here. It's got a nice tie. Buttons there. So in there. There's the top, and there's the bottom. All right, that's XXL. Now, XXL in China, <laughs> they be tripping. American women are just built different. <laughs> All right. This is a woman's V-neck t-shirt. This is medium size, blue. That's a nice blue one. All right, and we've got a medium-sized green one v-neck here. All right, we've got a, we've got, well, this I don't remember looking at. New sweater, fashion, it's like, oh, like a Mr. Rogers type sweater. I've always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. Always one in the neighborhood till you say, let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Would you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Okay, let me stop. I think that, I don't, hey, YouTube, I was just singing the song, man. Don't, don't shut down my video. <laughs> Oh, I might even name it Mr. Rogers sweater. <laughs> this is for this is not this is a I don't know what type of sweater it is. If a guy or girl wants to wear it, they can have that one here. Alright, Dickie's women's um pants here. This is a jean slack type of pants, size twenty. There you go. Alright, let's start getting to the hard goods here. got some kind of a case here click for some kind of long phone or tablet this is gonna have some research on this sucker dust absorber co back CD back it's got screen protectors it's got these little paw print button things here all right that'll be some kind of research i'll be interested to find out i know in any case it probably won't be a lot looks like a uh oh well that explains what it is it is a video game controller case all right some of you nerds out there i've seen this before you guys be having those video game controllers on your hip or whatever, going to somebody's house, talking about them, you know, scrolling them in your hand, talking about 
you know, you carry your own controller with you. I've seen that before. Oh, it's crazy. I'm jealous because that's how it looks like fun, but I'm not into video games. I play a couple little things on my phone, but not into the controllers like that. All right, we have um, these are these are earbuds, Trucktronics. You don't need to see a picture. I've sold a million of these already. That same exact brand. All right, what we got here? We've got a Kenmore water filter, refrigerator water filter. Yep, that's what it is. Kenmore fridge. I'm sure, if it's other fridges besides that. <laughs> These are sunglasses. Children's Elton John type sunglasses. Probably go over well as a Christmas gift or something this Christmas because that, that'll probably sit on the shelf till then. JBL wireless base headphones. This is a good one right here. All right, we've got a four-in-one wireless charging pad. This is a charging pad. Like the other one, I thought this is an actual charging pad. My other one that I had was not a charging pad. It's a stand where you put wires. Convenient to put wires to there. I've got two of these. These are bright up lash lift eyelash perming kit. Got two of them. All right. Got a blood pressure monitor, a small one here. All right. Just you've seen the prices flash across the screen as I'm doing these. This is Ace Beam headlamp. I guess you, it's a strap you wear on your head, and you know this is something I can use at my job. But no. Nah. All right, headlamp. Here, first alert, smoke alarm. Hey guys, you see a name like this? major name you've seen on TV advertised specifically on TV before check eBay to see if it's Vero alright if it is don't list it on eBay Macari and um, Facebook don't care you can list it there but don't list it on eBay alright um, even if it is Vero sometimes you can list it if they catch you they will they could do something to your account a lot of times there's millions and millions and millions of sellers I think in order for them to catch you it's not all computerized somebody physically has to find it but once they find one thing in your account, they start going through all your account. I've seen it happen before. In fact, there's a video. Uh, I'll, I'm going to interrupt this real quick. This is why I say you need to sell on different marketplaces. Now, I have two people I subscribe to. One is a big-time eBay seller. I mean, huge. This guy is, like, gigantic. It's Daily Refinement. A lot of you have heard of him. And there's another one. She's smaller. Um, I forget her name. She's got over between one and 2,000 subscribers right so she tells a story that he tells people that you should not cross list to other stuff because it doesn't allow you to master one here's the issue mass you don't need to master anything to make a decent amount of money you don't really need to but it is it, it, what he says is kind of true here's why I go against it for the reason of the of the lady who was the one 2000 seller now her ebay channel is not is only like maybe a year or two old but she's been selling on ebay for years and years she has several thousand items up she got suspended by ebay for three days right for something i forgot what exactly it was for because they caught her on that they went into her account and found stuff that she violated that was there for a couple years before. She says, oh, you can't do that either. So they said, since you were suspended for three days for this, we're suspending you for seven days for something you listed two years ago. So now they suspended her for, they extended her three days to seven days. This is her only source of income. She don't have a job. She don't have nothing. Now, she's not panicking. She made enough money that she can get through the week, obviously, the way she was talking and stuff. But she was real sad and a bit upset about it. She could not sell anything. She says, I'm just going to push through. I'm going to make drafts. And when, as soon as my account's open, I can just li you know list more. But why? Why are you going to go through a week without a paycheck? With nothing. Now, combine Poshmark, Macari, and, and, uh, and Facebook, sell... 10% of what I sell on eBay, but 10% is better than zero. 10 to 20% is better than zero. This is why I ex people, 
you can't always trust your thing. Daily refinement, great as he is, what if something happens where his account got suspended, banned, or whatever? Now, he is smart enough. He can, he, he's talked about in his videos about moving over, about reorganizing, going to Shopify, or moving to here, or doing this. Or whatever. I mean, he says he used to sell on Poshmark. He doesn't anymore. Or moving to this. He's smart enough to do that. But not everybody is. Not everybody is able to move as quickly a whole business over and transfer it all like, over like that. And even if you do, you're going to not have income for whatever time it takes you to do it. And don't. And I don't care how good you are. You can't transfer a whole business of reselling onto another platform like that. You can't do it. You know. It, 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 it's not instant. It takes a while. In the meantime, you're losing money, right? This is why I advocate being a jack of all trades and making money across the line. I've had my eBay account suspended for three days. During those three days, I made, uh, during those three days, I didn't make a whole lot, but I made five Macari sales, one Poshmark, and three Facebook sales. They were there, all right? I made a total of, uh, Two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars during those three days that I wouldn't have had if I didn't have those. Oh, Amazon was selling. I was selling stuff on Amazon through F through the FBA program. If I didn't have that, all right. I just want to interrupt this unboxing and give you guys a little lesson on that. Daily refinement has a point. So do I. You go whichever way you where you want. This channel will always talk about selling on all five platforms i'm going to give some information i have to do these five unboxes i got some great and amazon stuff coming up soon so hit subscribe all right like this video too appreciate it brothers sisters all right spark plugs spark plugs i don't know anything about cars zip do cars use spark plugs anymore <laughs> i know old ones too Somebody's going to get those snatchos up real quick. Wireless over the ear headset. Um, <laughs> a necklace fan that blows air up your face. Let me tell you, I don't know if you remember a couple unboxing videos where I got one of these. And I kept it for myself. Boy, you those cool air, boy. But <laughs> I kept one for myself. I got two of those necklace fans in here. Called O2 Cool, which is an ingenious name. Why is it? Why is this one shaking around? I have to make sure to check them out. They're not broken. Uh, portable speaker. Completely sealed. Yeah, I'm not even going to open and test. We'll just assume that it's working. Completely sealed. Well, the speaker... Copperfit Arch Relief Plus. I've seen the commercial for these recently, so I think I know how much they sell for. Another thing, Copperfit on TV. Check the Vero. I believe I sold Copperfit on eBay. It shouldn't be a problem already. <laughs> a Polaroid camera for children. <laughs> Take a photo, video, print. I am actually going to put batteries in this that uses batteries, I assume. I've got a... That's pretty cool. Alright. Does it have paper in there? How does, uh, I've got to see how that works. That's cool. Um, we've got some Bell & Howell pest repellent stuff you put in your house. Alright, got those. Oh, we got five more items. We've got a cover. It says a cover buddy for portable. I'm going to open up and check it. I guess it's a case for iPad and keyboard. Does it come with a keyboard? Well, compatible with keyboards. Oh, I'll, I'll open up another time and check it out. Let's go with the five, four things here. I looked before. These are the four probably bigger money items in this particular box here. Although the other box had less items in it, that other box is more lucrative than this one. But, 
this will start bringing in here. I don't know how much this is. This is a spare tire, emergency flat tire repair kit. It's kind of heavy, so I hope it sells for something. <sighs> yeah, maybe, maybe not. All right. I love hair trimmers. If it has no hair in it, it is minimum open box, probably new. If it has hair in it, I put it as used. I clean the hairs really, really good. I mean, I will take a magnifying glass and do this with the hair. By the way, speaking of hair trimmer, this hair right here, after I do this video, is coming off. So I'll have a shave and a haircut. All right. I usually let my hair grow. Uh, I just like the way my hair feels. It's nice and soft. All right. A water pick toothbrush type thing there's that's a good seller that's a money right there and the final thing in this box is and when i pulled this out luna she looked at it right she goes oh those are mine <laughs> but they're two sizes too big for her she's a size eight size 10 brand new sketchers are these the on the go go on the go sandals size 10 they're brand new i mean box and everything box and everything involved how hot is that i have no idea if they're worth 20 bucks or more but sketches usually do well i whatever they're going to go for these are going to probably sell quick and that is the end of this video all right guys like subscribe box number three is coming real soon and um and keep subscribing like i said i have some good s oh wait a minute <laughs> i almost forgot about this i've got this as a cnpd smart watch <laughs> here's the watch right here <laughs> almost forgot that one i put it on the side because it was kind of sticking out the box i don't see how it sits in the uh case like that so far and i want to make sure it works and all that stuff so yeah there is a smart watch there all right now now i got everything um like subscribe We've got some good Amazon stuff coming soon. We've got three more unboxings. I wrote a list. Oh, what I'm going to do, you know, I plan to do this year and I never did it. I'm going to do a top 10 of what sold during the month. So I owe you a January and a February top 10. And this is across all platforms. These are going to be my 10 best sellers. These are going to be my 10 favorites. My favorite could be based on profit. It could be based on total price. It could be based on the item itself. But my 10 favorite sales for each of those months. Now I have two eBay stores, just want to remind you, one of those eBay, eBay, eBay stores is off limits. No one knows about it on, on YouTube. I keep that to myself. Usually the stuff in that eBay store is much more expensive and I don't mix it with this one. It's specialty items. There's no discounts. There's no nothing. No discounts, no returns on it. People need this stuff. If you want it, you're gonna get it. It's all guaranteed brand new stuff and um that's it but that doesn't that my a lot of my favorite items would be in that group over there because i do make a good section of money i don't sell as much but when i do sell the profit margin's huge and the uh, and everything but we're going to talk about the top 10 items for amazon i mean for ebay macari facebook and poshmark i will not include amazon in there you guys will not know what i'm selling on amazon not yet subscribe to this channel guys in a few weeks, you're going to get some information about Amazon that's going to poof your mind. All right? Okay. I just got to test some stuff out first to make sure my P's and Q's and I's are dotted and T's are crossed or something like that before I give you that information. This is Gary D for DIY Dollar Bills. Peace.